Okay, so let's look at some examples. Example 2, we are looking at sine 5 pi over 4. Okay, so we're going to calculate this ratio. So we have some uh, steps to follow. So probably again you will remember this from, from last year. Step 1, we are going to rotate the angle. Okay. Well, you can, you can do it two different ways. One, because you are working with the radians first time, you may be having a hard time how to locate it. So you can convert it uh, in your mind into, uh, into degrees and rotate the angle that way and to, to see uh, which quadrant that terminal arm is going to land on. Let's say 5 pi over 4. Pi over 4, we know 45. Right? So you multiply 45 by uh, 5, so you get 225 degrees. So you start from x-axis and go co uh, counterclockwise, so you know that you are going to end up in quadrant 3 by doing that. Another way of doing it, so uh, we know that this is 0 degree uh, or 0 radian as well. So we said that um, 180 degrees is pi, correct? I can divide now this uh, half a circle in four pieces, okay? One, two, three, and four. So then each section would be how much? Pi over four, right? So now this is one pi over four, two pi over four, three pi over four, four pi over four. And if you keep doing it for the second half, so you get 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, 8 pi over 4. As you see, 4 pi over 4 is pi. 8 pi over 4 is 2 pi. Okay? If you did this, you can also see that, you know, you are going to land in here, right here. Correct? 5 pi over 4. We start from positive x-axis. We go counterclockwise. So pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, and 5 pi over 4. Okay. Then, that is the first thing, rotating the angle. Second, find the related acute angle. So what is the related acute angle here? So we are here, this is the terminal arm. Okay. So that is 5 pi over 4. That is your angle theta. So beta is here, correct? So that is the angle between terminal arm and the closest x-axis. So what is that beta? So this is 5 pi over 4. That is 4 pi over 4. What is the difference? 1 pi over 4, right? 45. If you did it with, uh, uh, with degrees, so you would go 225 degrees, then your beta, which is related to acute angle, would be the angle between this terminal arm and this axis. So that is 180, correct? And the diff difference between them is 45 degrees. So that would be your beta. Same thing here. Pi is, uh, I mean beta is now pi over 4. Step 3, find the ratio for the related acute angle. So we are looking for sine of pi, 5 pi over 4. The, now we are going to get actually sine of pi over 4 first. Okay? Now you can use the uh, special triangle on the previous page. And we had 45, 45, 90 uh, pi. Uh, pi over 2, so you have or 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, 1, 1, root 2. What is sine 45 or sine pi over 4? 1 over root 2. So 1 over root 2. Finally, fourth step, you are going to use cast. Okay? So again, we start writing cast from quadrant 4. So we are in quadrant 3, we see T, 
that means only tangent is positive sine and cosine is sine and cosine negative so then sine 5 pi over 4 will have the same number but because it is in quadrant 3 sign is negative so you just put a negative sign okay again if I tell you the steps step 1 rotate the angle should we write those step 1 rotate the angle step 2 find related acute angle step 3 find the ratio for related acute angle and then finally find the ratio for theta using cast okay those are the four steps rotate angle find the related acute angle find the ratio for the related acute angle finally use cast to find the ratio for theta Okay, so let's apply the same steps to answer part B. So we have 11 pi over 6. If you convert it to uh, degrees, okay, so you know that pi over 6 is 30 degree. 11 pi over 6 is going to be 330 degree. Okay, if you sketch 330 degree, you know that you are going to end up in quadrant 4. So what is going to be the beta? 30 degree. Now we are going to do the same thing, but this time with radians. 11 pi over 6, this is what I am going to do, okay? So this is pi, again, 0, this is pi, that is 2 pi, right? So I am going to divide pi in... 6 equal uh, parts so 1 2 3 1 2 3 so now which is which one is going to be pi over 6 pi over 6 2 pi over 6 3 pi over 6 4 pi over 6 5 pi over 6 6 pi over 6 if you do it for the second half so again divide that half circle into six equal pieces 7 pi over 6 8 pi over 6 9 pi over 6 10 pi over 6 11 pi over 6 and 12 pi over 6 okay now we need to go to 11 pi over 6. So that is your theta. This is the terminal arm. And initial arm is here. As you see, it is the same as the degree, right? Okay, then what is beta? So this one is 11 pi over 6 and that line is 12 pi over 6. The difference between them is 1 pi over 6, right? Beta is then pi over 6. So we did step 1, rotate the angle. We did step 2, find beta. Now we are going to do find the ratio for beta, okay? So we are going to find cosine pi over 6. So you're going to use special triangles to do that, okay? Cosine pi over 6. 
if we look at here cosine so root 3 over 2 okay root 3 over 2 now final step use cast because you know that cosine 11 pi over 6 uh, as a numerical value is going to have root 3 over 2 but now you need to decide if you put a negative sign or positive sign here so we are in quadrant 4 cosine is positive therefore cosine 11 pi over 6 must be positive value then you just keep it as root 3 over 2 Okay, next one, cotangent 2 pi over 3. To be able to calculate cotangent, first you need to look at tangent 2 pi over 3. Okay, uh, because cotangent is 1 over tangent. First you need to get co uh, tangent. Again, again sketch, sketch the angle. Okay, so... I'm not going to draw x-axis for now, uh, y-axis for now, just to show you what is going on here, okay? So this is 0, this is pi, and that is 2 pi, right? When you're rotating. So now, to get pi over 3, so you divide this pi into 3 equal pieces. Okay? So now, this one is pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, and 6 pi over 3. So what do we, we need to go to 2 pi over 3, right? So that is, that is where we are going. Or in terms of uh, the degrees, pi over 3 is 60 degree, 2 pi over 3 is 120 degree. You already know that in terms of degrees, you would also land in quadrant 2, and your beta would be 60 degree. Okay, so then we have here theta which is 2 pi over 3 and which 2 pi over 3 okay and then to go 3 pi over 3 so that is beta difference between 3 pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3 is pi over 3 so beta is pi over 3 or 60 degree. Again, until you get used to the radians, you can switch those radians to degrees, do it in terms of degrees, and at the end, give your answer in the radians. That is also okay, okay? So first, uh, what did we do so far? Number one, rotate the angle. We did number two, find beta. Now find the ratio for beta. So we need to find tangent pi over three. Again, using the triangles, tangent pi over 3 is root 3. So those have to be in memory, but for now, I'm just showing that. Okay? Then, now we need to look at tangent 2 pi over 3 using the cast. Cast, we are in quadrant 2, only sign is positive tangent must be negative then okay so same number but negative value here for cotangent we do 1 over tangent value so you get 1 over negative root 3 so negative 1 over root 3 we get
if you need to rationalize this you get negative root 3 over 3 okay so related questions from handout B 1 2 3 from textbook 135 page 330 So now another type of question we are going to look at. State an equivalent expression in terms of the related acute angle. So we are given tangent 3 pi over 4. So, so we are going to write another expression using related acute angle. First thing you need to do to find the related acute angle. Okay? So we already did that circle here. We did pi over 4s. So 3 pi over 4, 1, 2, 3. So that angle is here. So that is 3 pi over 4. Then what is the related angle? Beta pi over 4. Okay, so means I'm going to write a relation between tangent 3 pi over 4 and tangent pi over 4. So tangent pi over 4 is positive because pi over 4 is an acute angle. Tangent, sine, and cosine ratio of any acute angle is positive. Okay? So again, sine, cosine, and tangent of any related angle is positive. So tangent pi over 4 is positive because it is in quadrant 1. If you sketch pi over 4, it, it is in quadrant 1. And all the ratios are positive in quadrant 1. But now for 3 pi over 4, right? So write the cast. What is tangent here? So only sine is positive, so tangent must be negative. So that is negative. So this is positive and that is negative. So to make them equal, I can just multiply the value of tangent pi over 4 by negative sign to make them equal. And it should make sense. Tangent pi over 4, the value is 1. Tangent 3 pi over 4, negative 1. So this is negative 1, that is positive 1. So to make them equal, you multiply the positive 1 by negative sign. Okay? That is how you do this type of questions. So let's look at this. Secant 5 pi over 3. So sketch 5 pi over 3. Okay, so I already showed it here. Pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3, 4, 5 pi over 3. So that is 5 pi over 3. Okay, so next step, find beta. This is 5 pi over 3. If, if we go one full revolution, that would be 6 pi over 3. 6 pi over 3 is 2 pi, right? So that the, if you go the whole way, that is 2 pi. So you're subtracting now 5 pi over 3 from it. So you get pi over 3. So now we are going to write an e e e expression with secant pi over 3. But again, you need to decide if you keep it positive, if they are exactly the same, or if you need to multiply this by negative 1 to get the other one. Okay? So we need to decide if we need to put positive or negative sign there. So to check the signs of secant, we need to check the signs of cosine. Right? Secant is 1 over cosine. So, I'm going to check cosine pi over 3 and cosine 5 pi over 3. Cosine pi over 3. Again, that is an uh, acute angle. So, cosine value of it is going to be positive. So, this is for sure positive. Now, I see uh, cosine 5 pi over 3. So, we are in quadrant 4. If you write cast here, we see that cosine is positive here. So this is also positive. See, cosine 5 pi over 3 is positive. 
Therefore, when you do one over, you still get a positive value. So secant five pi over three is also positive. So this is positive and that is positive means I don't need to multiply it by negative sign. So they are just equal. Next one, cosine seven pi over six. So rotate the angle. So zero pi is six pi over six. So seven pi over six, also from, from here you can see, is here. 7 pi over 6. You can also think it in terms of degrees. Pi over 6 is 30 degrees. 7 of them gives you 210 degrees. So you know that you are going to land in quadrant 3. So what is beta? 7 pi over 6. So here is beta theta minus pi. So 7 pi over 6 minus pi gives you pi over 6. Okay, 30 degree. You can also think it this way. This is 210 degree. Yes? Um, uh, like the beta, why is it always like um, the numerator taken away from the beta? So it's kind of, uh, for special angles, that's what we get. It is not the case all the time. But for special angles, which are pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. Those are 45, 135, 225, and uh, 315. Okay, so those are special angles for 45 degrees. If you look at 30 degrees, 30, 150, 210. 330, right? Those are the four special angles. With the 60s, we have 60, 120, 240, and 300. Those are special. So now, based on that, now we have pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, uh, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, related. So those special angles, uh, you know, uh, if you look at those, so related angles are pi over 4, pi over 3, pi over 6. Okay? That is how it comes to okay so pi over six so then we say we are going to write a relation between cosine seven pi over six and cosine pi over six then we check the signs cosine pi over six again pi over six is a related uh, it's, a, it's an acute angle it's going to be positive at all times right now we are going to check sine of cosine seven pi over six cast Okay, so then we are in quadrant three, tangent is positive only, cosine must be negative. So this is positive, that is negative. So to make them equal, you put negative sign here. So questions related to that type, page 200 and the 330 question number four and eight now we are going to look at another type of question okay so with the quest previous questions the angle is given to you and you were working with the ratios okay you are looking for the ratios but this time they are giving you the ratio and you're going to go and find the angle okay step one we write the ratio for the related acute angle. Again, if you have a related, uh, if you have an acute angle sine, cosine, or tangent value of it is always positive. So even though this is negative, when you're writing the same uh, ratio for the related acute, you take the positive value. Now use the special triangles to come with the related acute. So. Uh, uh, sine of what angle gives you 1 over 2, right? Sine of what angle gives you 1 over 2? So looks like pi over 6 or 30 degree. Okay? Pi over 6. After you find that, uh, check 
the sign of the original question. We are looking for where sign is negative 1 over 2. By the way, so let's uh, not use this restriction because it says theta is between pi over 2 and <coughs> 3 pi over 2. But let's use theta is between 0 and 2 pi because one of the questions doesn't work based on that specification. Okay, so we are looking for the angles that are between 0 and 2 pi. So again, we are looking for where sign is negative. So based on cast, Sine is negative in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. So we have two angles that have negative sine value, which are here. Okay? So this is theta 1. Oops. Starts from positive x-axis. That is theta 2. Okay? So you have two principal angles possible in 2 pi. So what is the first one? Pi plus beta, right? Pi plus beta. What is the second one? 2 pi minus beta. 2 pi minus beta. Okay? So pi plus pi over 6 gives you 7 pi over 6. And second one? 2 pi minus pi over 6 gives you 11 pi over 6. So two possible answers. Like uh, in terms of degrees, how would you work with it? They say sine theta equals negative 1 over 2. So you do sine beta, same steps, positive 1 over 2. But this time, using these special triangles, you say beta is 30 degree. Okay? Then, you know, there are four possible uh, angles that have the same related angle, right? Using the bow type. But then when you use cast, so you need to look for where sine is negative. So which is this and that. So two answers. But that time, because this is beta 30 degree, 180 plus 30, right, would be the first angle. So that is 210. And the second one, again, this is 30 degree. 360 minus 30 degree. So that would be, second angle would be 330 degree. That's how you would work with, you know, degrees. So that's how what you did last year. So this year, this time, we did the same thing using uh, radians. Okay, same steps. We write the ratio for related acute. So it is still positive, right? Positive root 2 over 2 or uh, root 2 over 2 is same as 1 over root 2. Same thing. Step two, find beta. Okay, if you look at it, one over root two, cosine, is it cosine? Yes, cosine, but even it signs same thing, right? So what do you get? Pi over four you get, right? So beta is pi over 4 or 45 degrees. So that is 45 degrees. Okay, next step, look at the original question. Look at the ratio, if it is positive or negative. It is positive. So now check where cosine is positive. Okay, in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4. Okay. So this is one of the angles, pi over 4. And this is uh, the other angle, okay, here. How are you going to find that? So this is beta, pi over 4. You're going to subtract it from 2 pi. 2 pi minus pi over 4 gives you 7 pi over 4. So theta is pi over 4 in quadrant 1 
or 7 pi over 4 in quadrant 4. If you did it with the degrees, let me do it here. So this is 45 and that one is 45. So one angle would be here, 45, and the other one would be right there. So 260 minus 45, okay? That would be 315 degree in terms of degrees. But now we have pi over four and seven pi over four. So the last one, uh, actually you can't do it using cast. If you have sine theta or cos theta equals zero or one or negative one, you should know that that angle is a quadrantal angle. Okay, so you don't, you cannot have a a, a related acute angle. So what are we going to do? We are going to use unit circle to answer this. So unit circle again the coordinates one and zero, zero and one. Zero, uh, one, uh, negative one and zero, zero and negative one, okay? So, again, the first coordinates are cos, second coordinates are sine. So we want sine to be negative one. So it looks like we are here, right? Sine is negative one. So then the angle is right here. So pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. Or 270 converted to radians, 3 pi over 2. So theta is 3 pi over 2. Okay. Example five. Each of the following points lies on the let me make it smaller. On the terminal arm of an angle in standard position. So sketch the angle. Let's sketch the angle. As you see, x coordinate is negative eight. Y coordinate is six. So find the point, draw the terminal arm. So go from positive x axis to there. So that is angle theta. Next, determine the value of r. Well, again, so this is r, right, here. So r square equals x square plus y square. We already know that. 8 square plus 6 square. So that is 100. Take the square root and that gives you 10. Okay, let's look at part three. Determine the primary trigono trigonometric ratios for the angle. So we need to find sine theta, cos theta, and tangent theta. Sine theta. We already learned that y over r, y coordinate over the radius. Y coordinate is 6, radius is 10. Simplify, 3 over 5. Cosine theta, X over R, X coordinate over the radius. X coordinate is negative 8, radius is 10, so you get negative 4 over 5. Tangent theta, Y over X, Y over X. 6 over negative 8, negative 3 over 4.
Okay, so next one it says calculate the radian uh, value of theta. There, theta is zero in between the two pi. Okay, so we are going to find theta, but to find theta, uh, this first we are going to get the beta, which is related to acute, and then calculate the theta. Okay, so when we do that, we you can use any of the ratios that we wrote on part three. Okay, you can take the sine, you can take the cosine, you, you can take the tangent. It doesn't matter. You just pick one of them. Okay, let's say we are picking the cosine. Okay, then write the death ratio for the related acute. Cosine beta is 4 over 5. You always make it positive. Then, to get beta, we are going to do cos inverse of 4 over 5. If your uh, calculator is in degree mode, the angle that you will get will be in degrees. And then you can convert it to radians. Or you can directly change your calculator into, uh, into radians mode. Okay? So, for example, that's what I will do. Okay? From here, radians is 2. So now my calculator is in radians uh, mode. So you can see it with R. Okay, here. So you can do the same thing with your calculator to switch it. Now we are going to do a cos inverse of 4 over 5. So 0 0.64. Okay. <coughs> because you converted your calculator to radians mode. So the angle that you get when you do this is going to be in radians now not in uh, in degrees okay 0 0.64 beta is 0 0.64 again if your mode was in degrees so and if you did cos inverse of 4 over 5 you would get 37 degrees okay but now i converted my calcul uh, calculator before it to radians, so now this is in degrees. All right, so next step, what are we gonna do? Find theta. So you look at this picture, this is theta and that is beta, right? To get theta, I need to subtract beta from the pi, okay? So let's say if you have 37 degree, how would you calculate beta, uh, theta? You would subtract that from 180. Now we are subtracting it from pi. So pi minus beta, 3.14 minus 0 0.64 gives you 2.5. So that is angle theta now. Let's leave part B for now. So I want to do example six and I'll let you try B, okay? Number six. You are given tangent theta, negative 7 over 9. And uh, theta is between 0 and 2 pi. In which quadrants could the terminal arm of theta lie? So tangent value is negative. So now you need to check where tangent is negative. Okay. So it is here and it is here. So quadrant 2 and quadrant 4 tangent is negative, okay? So quad 2 and quad 4, okay? 2 and 4. Determine all possible trigonometric ratios for theta. Well, tangent ratio is already given, but now you're going to look for uh, other t trigonometric ratios such as sine theta and cos theta. Because tangent, you already know. Tangent is negative 7 over 9. So then you will have, of course, uh, two different answers for each, radio, uh, ra uh, each ratio. Okay? So when you are in quad 2, okay, so you will get 
sine theta and cos theta and for quad 4 you will also get sine theta and cos theta okay so tangent theta is y over x correct y over x well you can get negative 7 over 9 as negative 7 over positive 9 or 7 over negative 9 okay so either y coordinate is negative 7 and x coordinate is 9 or you can have y coordinate as or of 7 and x coordinate being negative 9 so to, to be able to calculate sine theta and cos theta so sine is y over r cos is x over r okay so for this point now we have x negative 9 y is 7 and for this point we have x being 9 y is negative 7 so you need the radius okay let's calculate the radius r square is x square plus y square using the pythagoras r square equals so 9 square plus 7 square so you get 81 plus 49 gives you 130 r square is 130 but r square root of that so square root of 130 okay so y over r y coordinate is 7 in quadrant 2 radius uh, radius is or r is square root of 130 so you can also uh, rationalize the denominator 7 square root of 130 over 130 cosine x over r so negative 9 over square root of 130 equals so negative 9 square root of 130 over 130 if you rationalize the denominator so quad 4 getting sine theta again y over r y coordinate is negative 7 over square root of 130 negative 7 square root of 130 over 130 cos theta x over r x coordinate is 9 9 over square root of 130 or 9 square root of 130 over 130 so last question state all possible radian values of theta to the nearest hundred okay so to be able to answer that question you can take any ratio pick any of them tangent sine cosine pick one of them okay but you know why do you want to work with the square roots radicals right i would i would pick tangent the original one which has no radicals in it so i'm going to use that tangent value again step one is write it with the uh, so write the same ratio for related acute so take the positive value of it then get beta so you need to do uh, I'm gonna change this mode to radians again but again if you don't feel comfortable working with radius get the degree and then convert it so you know how to convert radians now I'm doing tan inverse 7 over 9 7 over 9 0 0.66 radians okay. then again we have two angles here right theta 1 it could be this or it could be this so first one in quadrant two 
that gives you pi minus beta so 3.14 minus 0 0.66 3.14 minus 0 0.66 2.48 so if you look at the, the other theta or principal angle okay so we can do 2 pi minus beta 2 pi minus beta so 2 times 3.14 6.28 minus beta is 0 0.66 6.28 minus 0 0.66 you get 5.62 so you have two different answers for theta so related questions are here